Often referred to as the pioneer of color photography, William Eggleston was the essential figure that introduced and pushed color photos into the world of fine art. Born as the first grandson into a wealthy Southern family on July 27, 1939, he had an easy life, primarily raised by his grandparents while his parents worked. Eggleston was a rowdy, curious child who had trouble finding his passion as he grew up. Even though he attended three prestigious colleges, Vanderbilt University, Delta State College, and the University of Mississippi, he was still unable to find the motivation to complete a program or get a degree. It was in his college years he stumbled into the world of photography. A childhood friend introduced Eccleston to photojournalism, and they studied the craft together. While his first camera, a Canon rangefinder, was a simple camera with only a viewfinder, Eggleston drew inspiration from black and white photographer Henry Cartier Brayson and the photographer's monograph, The Decisive Moment. Photojournalism pictures, to me, they were not interesting. But then I found this one. I said, my God, this is, this is not just photojournalism, this is great art. Eggleston began to mimic Carter Brenson's work, shooting in black and white. However, Eggleston quickly found his passions with color photography. In the 1950s, he shot his first roll of color pictures. To print and process his vibrant photos, Eggleston used the dye transfer process that was commonly used in printing ads. It was a long, tedious, and expensive process, but its ability to produce fade-proof colors and illuminate a greater color intensity only enhanced an image's expression of emotion. It was a very old process and used almost completely for fashion advertising. And I never heard of um, it being used for non-commercial art photography, what I was doing. Living in Memphis, Tennessee, Eggleston made his mark in photography for his amazing composition and colorful candid shots of Southern life. While other professional artists were focusing on trying to capture the extraordinary, Eggleston shot the ordinary, the boring, the banal. He took pictures of the ugly stuff, like toilets and cupboards, yet all his pictures demonstrated his keen eye for color and the beauty in the mundane. Eggleston never saw fame until 1976, when John Sarkovsky, the head of photography at the Museum of Modern Art in New York, was blown away by Eggleston's work and offered him a solo exhibit. The color exhibit opened on May 5th, but was quickly met with criticism. It got tremendous recognition. Great amount of it. negative. I really felt sorry for them because it's so obvious that it's like they had the wrong job. They didn't understand what they were looking at. And the job was to understand it. modern art. It's the museum of modern art. <laughs> and they wrote pretty stupid things. Eggleston's work was so radical and different from the definition of fine art at the time that it confused and frustrated the audience. Before his exhibit, people were used to only seeing black and white photos of landscapes and stage subjects in museums. Eggleston challenged this idea, and his photo depicted a sense of unease and incompleteness, yet each photo had a story to tell. Despite the American criticism, Eggleston found favor in international audiences. People quickly recognized Eggleston's genius, which invited more offers for exhibits overseas. As an international sensation, his first critics came back to apologize Thanks to Eggleston, color photography now has its place in fine art and is even considered by some to be more difficult than black and white photography. Eggleston is still alive today and still taking pictures. He continues to spend his days in Memphis and aside from photography, he has taken an interest in music. At 78, he has recently released an album titled Music and is a collection of his piano and cork synthesizer pieces. Much of his music style reflects his approach to taking pictures. It is, as he calls it, shooting and playing democratically. People ask what I'm photographing, which is a hard question to answer. And the best I've come up with is I just say, life today. <laughs>